I'm just lighting my fire. It's a cold and damp day here in the rainy UK. I always like that there. A bit of paper in the entrance just to put a, heat, a little bit of heat up into the riser tube and it starts the drawing process very nicely. Then I can load a few little skinny sticks in, get the skinny sticks burning. Once we get the skinny, skinny sticks burning, we can put some heavier ones in. This wood's just a little bit damp really wet it's been raining for days outside I keep my firewood stored outside it should catch that I think yeah it's gonna go that so I'm gonna show you in the riser tube this is the riser tube I built from uh, the factory board if I get a load of sticks in there, it should put a, l a good flame into the bottom of the riser tube. Then you're going to be able to see what's going on in there. Right. focus in on this because this is going to it's going to look at the face of the glass which is a bit pitted and uh, scored now so if I don't film this now the stove's just going to get too hot to have the camera over the top of it so it's another reason I uh, I didn't fix this glass on because it's it's more than adequate just putting it over the top and it just allows me to clean the glass and show you guys what's going on in there. So it's so annoying this because so, I can see perfectly well what's going on myself. I don't know if you can see in here guys what's going on with the refractory itself the image looks pretty crappy to me out I will uh, I'll have a look at the editor you can see or not guys um, the riser is immaculate it's as good as the day I put it in now I did say all I'm burning, all I've been burning the last few weeks are, are just like softwood offcuts like this. Just from, you know, joinery offcuts, bits of softwood. I've not had any real decent fuel to put in the stove. But it's more than good enough, this thing. Uh, putting out tons of heat from fuel like that. And the fuel I've put in there, I think you can see it, I'm more or less filled to the top there with just with softwood and um, there's plenty of gaps in between it's not packed solid but that will now burn that will now give me heat for about two hours uh, and this this is already up to just been filming that short process and it's already up to 170 centigrade this stove the stove body itself so it's pretty hot now you can't, I know you can't see in the riser, as I said, 
maybe not I'll see when I've done the footage but the riser is is fantastic there is no problem with it there is no cracking the only cracking on this riser tube with them little triangular fillets I, I screwed into the corners and I'm pretty sure the reason they cracked is because the section was it was a two inch thick slab and because I've cut it through it's pretty thin now them triangles and I think it's literally just shrinkage and it's cracked where the screws are holding it in but it's not falling apart uh, the screws are still holding it in place and it's only cracked on two of them right at the top in the last say, last couple of inches but they, they don't do anything they're literally there just to kind of force the vortex a little bit so the, the riser body itself that I built is in immacul immaculate condition just fantastic so we're good on that uh, you can see once you get some fuel in here that it's not throwing smoke out out of the door and all I do is I put wood like this in and I just pack it you know pack it in as much as I can that's uh, I'll do it that'll do me now a couple of hours as soon as that as soon as that thing gets a little bit up to temperature it's like on this dial gauge if, it, if it's reading about 10 past I know the riser's hot enough that it won't it'll still burn clean so I can then shut the door uh, the glass this door glass gets really mucky like this it's just because at night what I do I shut the fire down, put some fuel on and I shut the fire down and because it's so hot in there it kind of causes the wood to gas off so the glass the glass goes slightly black, gets blackened by the fuel inside because obviously the air wash system isn't pulling air past the glass but <clears throat> it's only like a little, a little bit of black soot that gets caused in the evening as the fire burns during the day the glass actually cleans itself so uh, that's what we've got in I'm expecting a good two hours burning off that so what do I think of my ceramic refractory board riser fantastic um, it gets up to temperature so much quicker so I mean, what, how long have I been doing this? Maybe five minutes now, and I'm getting heat. I'm getting a lot of heat off this already, which 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 I love because I want instant heat. I don't want to wait 15, 20 minutes for this thing to start putting heat out when I'm coming in here working. So I do like that aspect of it. The only kind of payback is, or the only kind of drawback is, I have noticed, it, it was instantly noticeable, that... Um, when I go in for my supper on my tea at night, say five, six o'clock, if I let the fire go out, when it was the cast riser, at that point I'd be able to let, let the fire go out, go and have my tea and come back outside. And the workshop would still be warm because the whole stove would just be radiating heat for maybe two or three hours afterwards. This doesn't do that to, a, to the same extent. But the work around, because, because the, the ceramic riser is not storing any heat, it's very insulative and it just puts heat straight into the stove body. But the work around on that, but the way around that is to pack some kind of salt, some mass around this, which I will be doing. I think I'm going to do it on that other side of the bench. So I'm going to stack some concrete bricks up against that side, just literally push them against so that that concrete brickwork can, can just suck heat in whilst the stove's burning and then when the fire's gone out it'll release that slowly so yeah that's what I'm going to do. Concrete brick will be fine, um, the, the, the temperatures don't ever get above about three to 400 on the side so that'll be fine. Plus I've been putting all my little offcuts of steel and heavy lumps of steel on top as you can see and 
they kind of suck heat in and they, they hold the heat for a while. The bottom section of this riser base was, was in the ceramic board and the actual, say, should we say the tube or the, the, the extension onto that riser tube was vermiculite boarding which is quite cost effective um, and it's great and it's instant and you can just get it up and running you can you can put that thing together and you can burn it as soon as you've finished so that's why i like it that's my little update guys you can see this is just sort of burning out the top now this wood but it's all been contained this is pumping out amazing amounts of heat now the the flame is actually spilling over the top of this riser tube and, and going down into the stove now. So I need to close it down because we're pumping too much heat through. Fantastic, there's knocked it back. So there, hope you enjoyed that little update. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. So thanks for subscribing, like if you like, and I will see you very soon on the next video, which will I'm gonna show you the purchases that I made at a recent auction and I've just started building the heat treating oven.